Okay, guys, it's the next day, and uh, we're going to uh, unmold this one. So first, we're going to take off the top that we put on yesterday. I think I'll just cut the whole top off. Where I fixated the whole thing. Yeah, that's a lot easier. There it is. Put this away. Okay. Take the top bit off. There's some plastic on here. I'll have to take a little bit of that off later. You know what I did with this one, uh, and I did that offline. I did make it go a little bit like that. See that? That it's going that way. I did do that later on. There are some folds where the, uh, this is not as smooth as the last one, but this one is a little bit bigger, as you can see. So the, the key to getting a really nice, um, you know, drape is taking the mold off a little bit earlier. So it's between three and four hours. And uh, it, it will also very much depend on... Um, but it did turn out nice. But I'm taking this one to the next level, so we're not ready yet. But can you see where it goes to transparent? And then in here are all these really pretty beads. They will catch the light and make it look really nice. But I'll have to do something about this because it's pretty prickly. So I'll have to uh, do something with that. But I'm gonna take this to the next level. Like I said, ooh, more plastic. Okay, I'll just stop here I'm taking off the plastic. I gotta do that before I do the, the next part. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is going to be a really long video, but I don't care because I gotta tell you all this stuff that I came up with. See that? Very, very stuff all going through my mind. So uh, I'm gonna tell you, first off, if you buy one of these from Wish or AliExpress, these these nail things, I was going to MacGyver it so that I could put these things under it. And lo and behold, look at this. You can just take it out, this part. Is that not super interesting? So you take it out and now you have full access to the, to the UV lamps and you're probably thinking, why are you telling us this? Because your UV resin that dries all by itself. Well, yes, it do it does. But if you want to do some um, touch-ups, which I'm going to do now, because look how shiny it is now. I just put a whole layer of UV resin on top with a brush, and look how it levels out. It is perfect. Is that not perfect? Okay, so now I'm going to go one step further with this because this is what I had in my mind um, a long time. What I'm going to do is up here I have a little plastic lid. I'm going to put some of that resin on there, just a tiny little bit. Then I'm going to take one of those really nice glass faceted, faceted beads Put a little glitter in there. See that? Then take a tweezer, a pair of tweezers, and then I'm going to pop it on here, just on the rim, like that. Oops, don't fall off. And then I'm going to put the timer on. So there it is. And I'm going to slowly slide it in. 
and that way you have a lot more room because I put my UV light up on a couple of cups to give it a little bit more height and you can slide that thing right in and now we're gonna see how that works and I'm gonna try and get these creases out because I don't like the creases in there too much I don't mind the sides but the bottom is kind of uh, rimply and ugly so now the bead is being sort of fused into the uh, the whole bowl and that's something that I really like because then you can put all these beads along the side don't know how long I'm talking now I should have watched because it does need about uh, 30 to 40 seconds to um, merge into uh, and dry but we'll see see that how it how it stands up there this one is really tight yep it's done so I'm gonna put a whole bunch of those things on here on the top only at the ends not in the middle just at the ends because this is gonna catch the light beautifully and it's gonna sparkle and do all kinds of stuff and it really looks like uh, sort of water popping out now the other thing that I wanted to see if I can get these creases out so I'm gonna put some of this resin in there just on the bottom putting it in the little creases and I'm gonna smooth it out with a brush and if you buy a brush uh, to do this really the cheapest brushes will do as long as it's synthetic not that thick uh, pigs hair brushes so we're gonna brush that in there and see if it sort of merges I'm, I'm afraid it won't because um, uh, it, when you have mica in your uh, resin you know see how now it's r really smooth but you can still see the creases because of the way the mica is reflecting the light so you're never gonna get those away but I like the shiny shiny bits so what I'm gonna do is right now make it all shiny again and put it outside and let it dry because um, outside you have a lot of UV UV rays and that's gonna work this stuff is um, really, really good at self-leveling. That's the thing that I uh, really admire about the UV resin. It self-levels and that makes it really nice to use. So I'm putting the coat on here a little bit more. And why I say use really cheap brushes is because usually after this you can just throw the brush away because you can't almost not get it out and if you were to try to clean the brush it wouldn't be worth the stuff you're using and that would be even more damaging to the uh, environment than just throwing the brush away because you'd have to use paint thinner or something like that alcohol something that is much more corrosive than just throwing out the brush and as long as you don't get the brush in the UV it'll stay soft so you could even package it you could wrap it up in plastic and use it later that's perfectly okay now guys I was watching um, a little thing oh, yeah Dave made me do it Dave thank you for sending me the links of YouTube but once I get on YouTube I go from one video to another video <laughs> and then it's an hour later so um, if you're wondering who did that, that was Dave. But I really like and enjoy your links. You send me all the interesting stuff, so I watch it. Um, to give you an idea, it was a, a video about um, fixing up your cooler that it's working better than normal. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't know why you think I need a cooler, but okay. Um, I've watched uh, Bob Ross, a, 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 lo a big piece about Bob Ross. Uh, I didn't know this, but he never sold his paintings. He didn't. There's no one that has a painting, a real Bob Ross painting. Uh, he gave some away, that's right, but he didn't sell them. 
And the company that did the TV shows, they explained it that he made three paintings, three exactly the same paintings. The first one just, you know, to get a feel of how he was going to do that on the show. Then he made the one that he did on the show. And then after it, he did one, uh, the most beautiful one. And he gave that to uh, a lady that made him famous. Kowalski was her name. And uh, they, she made him famous. So and she has a lot of paintings. She was really old too. Maybe she's deceased. I don't know. But she made him famous. And... Uh, so well, really no one has real Bob Ross paintings. That was kind of, uh, if it's true, but that was kind of interesting. I found that really interesting. Okay, this uh, I'm gonna put outside, but like I said, guys, you get the, uh, the, the, you know, what I was thinking. Can you see that there, how these beads are nicely on the top? I'm not sure if it's really in focus here. Let's see. Yeah, there you see them. So a couple of these on the on the uh, outer rims will look really cool. And that's going to give it just that little extra gazam. Okay, thanks for watching this one, guys. I will uh, make a little uh, video when, it's, when it has all the beads on top of it. But that might take a while. Not sure I'm going to do that today. I'm going to set this outside so it can harden. And uh, I'm going to clean this up and do, uh, I think, a transfer. So see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces.